students in the first class we have seen drugs under cardiac glycosides so in this class we are going to see chemistry and assay of cardiac glycosides and other drugs also so in that chemistry we are dividing the chemistry into two that is chemistry of glycone and chemistry of a glycone glycone already we have known that is a sugar a glycone no that is an uh, non sugar so first we will see the chemistry of glycone glycone means that is having the sugar that is attached to the third position of that steroid nucleus by means of glycosidic linkage so that na third position only it would be attached so the sugar portion conjugates with the c3 that is third carbon of that hydroxy group of a glycone by means of beta 14 glycosidic linkage so what is the glycosidic linkage beta 14 here this would be the first position this would be fourth position so that would be beta 14 glycosidic linkage how the linkage is 14 here first position here fourth one similarly this one would be first this would be fourth here first one this would be fourth one this would be the example for what it is this is called digoxin this would be the structure for digoxin this is an example for cardiac glycoside in the structure of digoxin what is the glycone present that is called tri digitoxose or three molecules of digitoxose this would be one molecule this would be one molecule and this is the third one here how these three would be attached first position is connected with this connected with the a glycone and the fourth position is connected with the first position of another sugar here fourth position is connected with the first position of another sugar that's why it is called as beta 14 beta means thick line so this would be thick line so beta 14 glycosidic linkage so the how the sugar connects with the uh, c3 hydroxy group of a glycone by means of beta 14 glycosidic linkage so what are the common sugars used in cardiac glycosides they are d glucose d digitoxose l ramnose and d cimarose the sugars predominantly exist in beta configuration in some cases that is existing in acetylated form how that would be that is in the form of acetylation that is acetylated form we are um, we are seeing that so the presence of an o acetyl that is acetyl group is attached with the oxygen o acetyl group on a sugar greatly affects the um, lipophilic character and pharmacokinetics of the entire glycoside so what is the use of sugar that is responsible for modifying duration of action partition coefficient solubility and cell permeability so what are all we have seen under glycone in the case of glycone glycones are otherwise called as sugars what are the sugars used here d glucose d digitoxose l ramnose d cimarose how that would be connected with the a glycone by means of beta 14 glycosidic linkage so this would be beta first position of the sugar is connected with that so one here in that sugar fourth position is connected with one more sugar by uh, first position of sugar okay here fourth one this would be fourth first one that's why 1 4 glycosidic linkage and this would be thin thick line that's why beta 14 glycosidic linkage and some are existing in acetylated form and uh, what is the use of uh, this uh, sugar that are responsible for modifying duration of action partition coefficient solubility and cell permeability what is the use of the acetylated form this affects the lipophilic character and pharmacokinetics of the entire glycoside three of a glycone already we have known what is the a glycone present here that is called steroid nucleus and with that it is having a lactone already we have known two types of lactone that has present in 17th position one is a cardinolide another one is a bufadienolide so what is the steroid this one is having cyclopentano perhydrophenanthrene already we have discussed that what is the nucleus present in a steroid that is called cyclopentano perhydrophenanthrene and um, they have five or six membered lactones that is an alpha beta unsaturated lactone at 17th position that is by means of beta so 17 beta configuration 17 beta position the cis configuration between the rings a and b so between a and b how it would be cis configuration and between c and d also cis so cis is present between cis configuration between a and b and c and d 
where we have trans between B and C. So that is the main stereochemistry of this cardiac glycoside. What is that? It is having cis configuration between A, B. So between these two there may be cis and between C, D there may be cis. But between B, C there may be trans. What is the use of that A glycone that is responsible for the pharmacological action? If you are removing the sugar portion that is allowing epimerization of 3 beta hydroxy group. If you are removing the sugar from the third position, we are having only hydroxy group that is 3 beta hydroxy group that undergoes epimerization. And if you are removing that, what happens? Activity would be decreased and toxicity would be increased because, because of the change in polarity. So, what, uh, what happens when we remove the sugar? We are, that allows epimerization of 3 beta hydroxy group and the activity would be reduced and the toxicity would be increased uh, due to the change in polarity. So if it is a physiologically active compound that should contain a hydroxy group in 14 beta position. Now give me examples for cardiac glycosides having a hydroxy group in 14th position. One is called digoxin, another one is called as digitoxin of cardiac glycosides. Already we have known it is having two parts. One is called as a glycone. Another one is called a glycone. And that two are connected by means of glycosidic linkage. What are the sugars we have seen? Uh, digitox um, digitoxose, glucose, etc. And what about the a glycone? A glycone is a steroid that is cyclopentano per and that one is having 17th, uh, that one is having cardinolide or bufodienolide in the 17th position that is called as A glycone. Already we have seen what is the use of that glycone that is responsible for solubility and distribution characteristics. What is the use of A glycone that is important for cardiac activity? What is the use of that steroid nucleus that is important for activity? Already we have seen A, B that two rings no cis fused. And the CD that is also suffused whereas BC no that would be transfused. But here if you are changing the configuration that is AB cis no that would be converted to trans means the activity would be decreased. And already we said it is having 14 hydroxy group that is important for activity. If it is not there it is not having any cardiac activity. Steroidal nucleus without the lactone means it is not having any activity so that the lactone ring no that is important whether it may be cardinolide or bufodienolide if it is not having lactone it is not having any activity and that one is important for receptor binding. And that track lactone, no, that would be an unsaturated lactone, cardinolide or bufodienolide, that should be unsaturated. If it is saturated, it is not having any activity. So that's all about the SAR of cardiac glycosides. SAR of cardiac glycosides, already we have known it is having two parts, one is called as a glycone, another one is called a glycone. And that two are connected by means of glycosidic linkage. What are the sugars we have seen? Uh, digitox, um, digitoxose, so glucose, etc. And what about the A glycone? A glycone is a steroid that is cyclopentano per and that one is having 17th, uh, that one is having cardinolide or bufodienolide in the 17th position that is called as A glycone. Already we have seen what is the use of that glycone that is responsible for solubility and distribution characteristics. What is the use of A glycone that is important for cardiac activity? What is the use of that steroid nucleus that is important for activity? Already we have seen A, B that two rings no cis fused and C, D that is also cis fused whereas B, C no that would be transfused. But here if you are changing the configuration that is A, B cis no that would be converted to trans means the activity would be decreased. And already we said it is having 14 hydroxy group that is important for activity. If it is not there it is not having any cardiac activity. Steroidal nucleus without the lactone means it is not having any activity so that the lactone ring no that is important whether it may be cardinolide or bufodienolide if it is not having lactone it is not having any activity and that one is important for receptor binding. And that track lactone, no, that would be an unsaturated lactone, cardinolide or bufodienolide, that should be unsaturated. If it is saturated, it is not having any activity. So that's all about the SAR of cardiac glycosides. The next drug used for the treatment of uh, congestive heart failure is Neziritide. It is having amino acids. 
Okay, how many amino acids are present here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So, it is having 32 amino acids. So, what is that? It is a recombinant form of 32 amino acid human B type natriuretic peptide. Peptide means having fusion of amino acids. Amino acids are fused. Here, how many amino acids are fused? 32 amino acids starting from serine and up to histidine. It is normally produced by ventricular myocardium. It works to facilitate cardiovascular fluid homeostasis through counter-regulation of renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system and by that it stimulates a CGMP leading to smooth muscle relaxation. How it is administered? Intravenously, usually by bolus followed by IV infusion. So what is meant by neseritide? It is a recombinant form of 32 amino acid human B-type natriuretic peptide. So, in response to stretching caused by increased ventricular blood volume, this HBNP that is a human brain natriuretic peptide is secreted by cardiomyocytes in the heart ventricles. If that would be secreted, the levels would be increased. So, this elevated levels of BNP that is associated with advanced heart failure. This one binds with guanylate cyclate that is GC receptors of vascular smooth muscle and endothelial cells and leading to increased intracellular concentrations of guanosin 3151 cyclic GMP. So this one serves as a second messenger to dilate veins and arteries. This, this is the general one. This neseritide relaxes the isolated human atrial and venous tissue preparations that were pre-concentrated with either endothelin 1 or alpha adrenergic agonist that is phenylephrine. So what is the main action? In response to stretching that is caused by increased ventricular blood volume, this HBNP is secreted by cardiomyosis and that is associated with advanced heart failure and that is binding with the GC and leading to increased uh, this one increased concentration of 3151 CGMP that is acting as a second messenger to dilate veins and arteries. This would be the general one. Now this one relaxes, neseritide relaxes. This uh, human atrial and venous tissue preparations and that will be pre-concentrated with either endothelin 1 or alpha adrenergic agonist that is phenylephrine. What are the uses of neseritide? Used in the management of patients with acute decompensated heart failure who have failed to respond to traditional agents. It is called as bosentan. Look at the structure of bosentan. First, it is having this nucleus. This would be the basic nucleus for bosentan. This is called as benzene with SO2 NH2 that is called sulfonamide. So, what is the basic nucleus present here? That is called as benzene sulfonamide. In the benzene sulfonamide, fourth position is connected with the tertiary butyl and the nitrogen of benzene sulfonamide is connected with one pyrimidine. This is called pyrimidine. Connected with the fourth position of pyrimidine. And the second position of pyrimidine is connected with one more pyrimidine. One more pyrimidine. Okay. And here in that pyrimidine, sixth position we have hydroxy ethoxy. And in fifth position we have 2-methoxy, this is phenyl oxy, 2-methoxy phenoxy. So, that is the structure for bosentan. What it is? It is having benzene sulfonamide. In the benzene sulfonamide, fourth position is having tertiary butyl and the nitrogen of sulfonamide is connected with the um, pyrimidin, fourth position. Fourth position of pyrimidin and in that second position of pyrimidin is connected with one more pyrimidin and sixth position is connected with hydroxy ethoxy. Fifth position is connected with 2-methoxy phenyl oxy. So, what is the chemical name? What is the parent one for this? That is called benzene sulfonamide. So, in benzene sulfonamide, fourth position we have that. So, 4 tertiary butyl. And everything, no, that would be attached with the nitrogen. So, N open bracket in that 6. 6 in that 2 hydroxy ethoxy close bracket. Now, come to fifth one. In that fifth one, 2 methoxy phenoxy close bracket and in second one pyrimidine 2 yl 
close the bracket and this would be pyrimidine 4YL benzene sulfonamide. It is available as a hydrate form that is why H2O. So, that is the structure of bosentan. So, what are all present there? Having benzene sulfonamide, fourth position tertiary butyl, nitrogen is connected with pyrimidine and that one is connected with one more pyrimidine, sixth position is connected with hydroxy ethoxy, fifth position is connected with the two methoxy phenoxy. So, what is the use? Use in the treatment of moderate pulmonary atrial hypertension and to reduce the number of digital, digital ulcers. Endothelin A and endothelin B receptors. So, uh, what is the, uh, what it is? It is a competitive antagonist, antagonist of endothelin 1 at endothelin A and endothelin B receptors. So, under normal conditions, this endothelin 1 is binding, uh, endothelin 1 binding of this one, that is endothelin A receptors causes constriction of pulmonary blood vessels. So, in normal conditions, um, this binding causes constriction of pulmonary blood vessels. Conversely, binding of endothelin 1 to endothelin B receptor has been associated with both vasodilation and vasoconstriction of vascular smooth muscles depending upon the subtype that is endothelin B1 or B2 and tissue. This would be the general one. Now, this bosentin blocks endothelin A and endothelin B receptors, but is thought to exert a greater effect on endothelin A receptors, causing a total decrease in pulmonary vascular resistance. Tezocentin. In that tezocentin, this would be the parent one. What is that? This we have known pyridin. Pyridin is having sulfonamide. So, pyridin 2 sulfonamide is the parent one. In that pyridin, what is attached? In fifth position, we have isopropyl group. And the nitrogen of pyridin is connected with pyrimidine, same as that of the earlier one. Pyrimidine and that one is having pyridin. And that second position of pyridin is connected with terazole. Terazole means that is an azole having four nitrogens, that is tetrazole, that is called as terazole. So, here it is attached with the terazole. And the sixth position is connected with that, same as that of the earlier one, hydroxy ethoxy. And fifth position it is having 2 methoxy phenoxy. So, what is the structure of tezen, uh, tezocentin? Pyridin 2 sulfonamide and in that fifth position is having isopropyl and the nitrogen is connected with pyrimidin. Second position is connected with pyridin and the second position of pyridin is connected with the terazole and sixth position and fifth position would be the same. What is that? Hydroxy, ethoxy and 2 methoxy phenoxy. Now, we will see the chemical name. So, what is the parent one? Pyridin 2 sulfonamide. In the pyridin, what is attached? With the nitrogen only, everything would be attached. So, N open bracket, in that, here 2, in that 2, here second position is connected with that. So, 2, again 2, in that, this is 1H, tetrazole or terazole. Tetrazole 5YL, this is pyridin 4YL. Now, come to sixth position. Uh, 2, this is 1, this is 2. So, 2 hydroxy ethoxy. Now, 5 in the 2 methoxy phenoxy, close bracket, pyrimidine 4 YL. Now, 5 isopropyl, pyridine 2 sulfonamide. Once again, I will repeat the structure. What is that? It is having pyridine 2 sulfonamide. In that, pyridine is having isopropyl in 5th position. And the nitrogen of sulfonamide is connected with pyrimidine. In that, 2nd position is connected with pyridine. And that second position is connected with the tetrazole or terazole. And here sixth position is having hydroxy ethoxy. Fifth one is having methoxy phenoxy. It is an intravenous endothelin receptor A or B antagonist. It is acting as a vasodilator used in the treatment of patients with acute heart failure, congestive heart failure, liver disease and heart, heart disease about drugs used in the treatment of congestive heart failure. We have seen 5 drugs under this chapter. Next class we will see another topic.